There is no intro because uh, what I'm doing is a public service announcement. I want to help out fellow authors. If you don't know who I am, my name is Aaron Clare. I write books. <laughs> Among other, yeah, that's all you need. To, yeah, he's nothing special. Uh, but like every other author out there, I want in paperback, Kindle, and Audible. And Audible, normally it worked. It went off without a hitch. I had a guy. I had a guy. Then he went away because, oh, we had troubles at home. Oh, why are you having had troubles at home at 23 years old? Oh, you live at home at 23. And he had social anxiety and all his other oh, excuses. Because I know when I was 23, I did not have the opportunity to make a roughly $25 an hour for a $500 setup with a microphone, some free auditing, uh, uh, video, uh, audio editing software. You didn't even need a camera. You didn't even need a camera. It's all audio. So he was a friend, and then I said, uh, and then he, he had his thing, and I, I, I went in there like a Gen X or older brother would. I say, hey, when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, uh, now you can start making some money. Then he came back. Everything worked great. He had the pitch. He had the timing. He did the video editing. He was a pro. He was affordable. I recommended him to other people. Then I recommended him to a, like a fourth, fifth, 17th client, whatever. Oh, I got feelings again. Things aren't perfect in my life. Well, what is he, Zoomer, I guess? Millennial, I don't know. And he left a, a friend of mine, a client of mine, high and dry. I'm like, that's it. You're out. You're out. God gave you this amazing voice, this gift. You got the technology. You got the, you know, we have the tools. We have the talent. It's Miller time. No one's going to get that one. And like, like stereotypical soy. Because, uh, dude, if you gave me $25 an hour adjusted for inflation, of course, I could have lived. You wouldn't have to go to, doesn't have to go to college. Doesn't have to do any of that. Hey, you got a voice from God. Use it. No. Then I had to go scrounge around. Another guy. Better voice. Best voice I've ever heard. God, God, like, gave this guy the better. But he had, all right, all right. I gave the pretty good voice out to the one guy. Here's the really good voice. This guy's got the best voice I've ever heard. Same exact thing. Oh, I'm having troubles at home. And I'm and like, hey, I got this project. Do you want to make money? I don't know if you knew this or not about making money, especially in the audio recording world. See, you need a finished product to present and sell and put a price tag on. But all these, these soy boys living at home, and anytime life throws a little curveball at them, <laughs> well, well, I can't work. Worst time in my life didn't matter. You still got up and went to work. I'll tell that story some other time. Way more gut wrenching than, oh, my parents are, are they're arguing. Oh, it's noisy. <laughs> I guess you record at night, huh? Then I'll mention a third. I'm not going to mention who or what, but this is an established author. And uh, I listen, I only listen to audio books. I don't read books that take too darn long. So I you know, audio, hey, here's, here's for my peeps, audio. Hey, we don't have to sit and do any of that boring reading. We can do other stuff, drive, work, do. <clears throat> so I took in uh, another audio book by this guy. And he too. Had someone have a have a crisis, an emotional organ. These are all guys, by the way. So don't think like, oh, was it a girl? No, these are all men. Big air, big airlifted air quotes. Not this. Like I have to do two hands here and two hands here for the air quote men. So this guy lost it. How's this regular guy? And so as as the communal work ethic. And the sense it goes down the toilet and the uh, uh, <clears throat> reliability goes down the toilet. I got to look at like who's out there, who's out there. And so now I'm recommending this guy and this guy only. And there isn't because he's flawless. He's, he has some flaws. I had to explain to him like, Hey, Hey, kid. Oh, let me go back to, let me, before I get it. So this other uh, author went with a new guy, a new guy. And this new guy, like, leaves. He didn't even edit it. He didn't even edit his own work. So now this guy, we got to find a new guy. We got to find a new guy or gal if, if your reading requires a, a female voice. And so I'm like, oh, yeah, this is the best guy. And that best guy is Jack Napier. All right? Now I put his email down below. 
<clears throat> we're not talking the Joker character from the Batman movie. This is his handle on the end. I put it down below. And he's he he's got a, a British slash European accent because he's Scandinavian or something. I don't know. Some from some country that always gets invaded first when Germany gets upset. <laughs> Steals their bikes. There's a hint. And I don't know if that, yeah, but here's the thing. Maybe you don't want that that accent. Who are you gonna go with? Who? You can't go with the the people who got great voices because they're not reliable. You know, it's it's and so here's here's why I'm recommending Jack. He will try his best. He will do the audio quality correctly. It will be, I mean, oh my gosh, all the screw ups. In Audible, you're supposed to leave a like a second gap at the beginning and the end of each chapter so that the person listening says, oh, there's silence. We're going to the next chapter. That wasn't on the other guy's book. Right? You're also supposed to listen to your audio before you send it to the author to publish. And sometimes you will make, obviously you'll make a mistake <clears throat> and you go back, you edit out like when you repeat yourself. Yeah, I can't even do that for my colleague who just wrote a book that I had to listen to. And then there's a word, <clears throat> words. I mean, I yelled at Jack about this because he recorded one for me and I'll never make that mistake again. Why? Because I'm a mean guy and I am Gen X, the world's older brother they never had. And I gave him the ass kick. I said, if you don't know how to pronounce the word, look it up. You don't have to call me. There's a thing called thesaurus. You could look up the words. They got an audio file. So this one guy, I'll give you a hint. Teeth. Not like teething. Oh, he's got teeth. No, tithe. The word with tithe. And he's pronounced a teeth, the other guy. I'm like, you too lazy to look this up? If you don't know how a word is pronounced, why don't you look it up? Oh, that's too old. Huh? And I don't know if you knew this also about Audible, but they're required in MP3 format. Here I got, this is when I was working, a fourth narrator for uh, a book I can mention. I can't mention now. Client wanted me to edit it. And he had the auto, but... Um, this guy just sent a rare file. I'm like, no, no, no. You send me the MP3s, MRF -er. or you send me a thumb drive. I'm not doing this rare file, zip file. And we unzip, oh, it's wave. Can't upload that either. Didn't normalize out. There's all this stuff that goes in. You know who'll do that? Jack. Jack Napier will do that. And to all my immediate colleagues in the author world, it's not maybe the best voice you're looking for. But he'll get it done. And there'll be no headaches. And it will be two standards of Audible's uh, audio requirements. And he'll have it done relatively on time. You're not on the phone like, hey, I sent you that script a month and a half ago. What's going on? Oh, yeah, I'm going through some problems. And, you know, I, I, you know just, you know, some emotional thing. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought I was talking to a guy. I wasn't talking to a girl. Oh, that's right. You're a young 20-something. And God has given you this great opportunity that you're just going to flush down the toilet. Because you got to feel he feels. You got to feel he feels. Jack, Jack doesn't have feelings. He purged them like I did back when I was his age. <laughs> he, he like, nah, he's just iron, man. Iron, he'll record. And he's done some great work for Troy Francis. That's coming out. He's hustling. He's got a work ethic. He'll do quality. About the only thing I can't, I, I can't say is that like, ah, uh, he, you know, if you want to write a Western, he doesn't, uh, hey, oh, dang, diggly, gall, darn, rootin', tootin', six gun shooting, Sam Elliott. No, he doesn't sound like Sam Elliott. But if you have something that doesn't require a character voice, he's your guy. He'll get it done. And not just for my immediate audience and fans or uh, uh, colleagues, rather, I should say. Audience, I mean uh, colleagues. I should say colleagues. For my colleagues who also write books, anybody who searches this, anybody, and you require a male uh, narrator, female, I don't know who. I, uh, I really don't. Well, I do have someone. If if you need a female, email me. If you need a female, I do have a narrator. She may not be the voice you're looking for. These are not the joys you're looking for. I think some people will get that one. Uh, but, you know, uh, this guy will get it done. And it will, you will have less stress in your life. It's it's almost like the last person alive to do what he says he's going to do. And I don't know about you guys, but that's becoming an incredibly rare skill. And more important than, oh, he's got a kind of British accent. 
He's got one of those, what did they call it? Liberated British accents. Like it's a country that was liberated in multiple wars. Oh, wait, that's Britain too. So it's implied. This is a non British, but British sounding liberated accent. One of the many countries we liberated several times. <laughs> Don't thank me. He's like my grandf grandfather's. I had nothing to do with it. So there you go. So hopefully, if you are searching, what's the who's the best narrator for Audible? Jack Napier. Email down below. Tell him I sent you. That's it. Hope you guys got it. Any super chats? No super chats. All right. Toodles.